He fed them with the finest of wheat. Alleluia. O blessed host, in golden chalice enclosed for me, that through the vast wilderness of exile I may pass, pure, immaculate, undefiled. O grant that through the power of your love this might come to be. O blessed host, take up your dwelling within my soul. O thou, my heart's purest love, with your brilliance the darkness dispel. Refuse not your grace to a humble heart. O blessed host, enchantment of all heaven, though your beauty be veiled and captured in a crumb of bread, strong faith tears away that veil. O blessed host, in whom is contained the testament of God's mercy for us, and especially for poor sinners. O blessed host, in whom is contained the body and blood of the Lord Jesus, as proof of infinite mercy for us, and especially for poor sinners. O blessed host, in whom is contained life eternal and of infinite mercy, dispensed in abundance to us, and especially to poor sinners. O blessed host, in whom is contained the mercy of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit toward us, and especially toward poor sinners. O blessed host, in whom is contained the infinite price of mercy, which will compensate for all our debts, and especially those of poor sinners. O blessed host, in whom is contained the fountain of living water, which springs from infinite mercy for us, and especially for poor sinners. O blessed host, in whom is contained the fire of purest love, which blazes forth from the bosom of the Eternal Father, as from an abyss of infinite mercy for us, and especially for poor sinners. O blessed host, in whom is contained the medicine for all our infirmities, flowing from infinite mercy as from a fount, for us and especially for poor sinners. O blessed host, in whom is contained the union between God and us through his infinite mercy for us, and especially for poor sinners. O blessed host, in whom are contained all the sentiments of the most sweet heart of Jesus toward us, and especially poor sinners. O blessed host, our only hope in all the sufferings and adversities of life. O blessed host, our only hope in the midst of darkness and of storms within and without. O blessed host, our only hope in life and at the hour of our death. O blessed host, our only hope in the midst of adversities and floods of despair. O blessed host, our only hope in the midst of falsehood and treason. O blessed host, our only hope in the midst of the darkness and godlessness which inundate the earth. O blessed host, our only hope in the longing and pain in which no one will understand us. O blessed host, our only hope in the toil and monotony of everyday life. O blessed host, our only hope amid the ruin of our hopes and endeavors. O blessed host, our only hope in the midst of the ravages of the enemy and the efforts of hell. O blessed host, I trust in you. When the burdens are beyond my strength and I find my efforts are fruitless. O blessed host, I trust in you. When storms toss my heart about and my fearful spirit tends to despair. O blessed host, I trust in you when my heart is about to tremble and mortal sweat moistens my brow. O blessed host, I trust in you when everything conspires against me and black despair creeps into my soul. O blessed host, I trust in you when my eyes will begin to grow dim to all temporal things, and for the first time my spirit will behold the unknown worlds. O blessed host, I trust in you when my task will be beyond my strength and adversity will become my daily lot. O blessed host, I trust in you when the practice of virtue will appear difficult for me and my nature will grow rebellious. 
O blessed host, I trust in you when hostile blows will be aimed against me. O blessed host, I trust in you when my toils and efforts will be misjudged by others. O blessed host, I trust in you when your judgments will resound over me. It is then that I will trust in the sea of your mercy. This is my body, which is given up for you. This is the cup of the new covenant in 